Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where today I'm making fireworks! Uh, well, an explosion anyway. And not just fireworks either. Um, but this first couple of minutes is definitely going to be all about the fireworks. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out different ways of making nice little trails in the air or just something that looks a little bit more impressive than a rocket going straight up because I've been I've been doing career mode for a little while now and I, I'm, I'm getting not bored of it, I just need some way to vent some steam, you know? So uh, <clears throat> I started off by using solid boosters and uh, attempting to spin up the platform that the solid boosters was attached it was attached to um, but uh, and I'd angled them all ever so slightly inwards this is why they don't get far before blowing up um, not quite as impressive as I had intended but still relatively impressive nonetheless um, the reason that I'm showing you this particular bit of footage is to watch it explode obviously uh, um, so this one here, I've moved the separatrons out to the side. It's literally a starfish, if you will, of um, structs in the middle, solid boosters on the outside, separatrons around the outside of that. And look at this. Separatrons attached to the solid boosters, that's why it gave them a little bit of a spin. And to be honest, I think that is one of the most beautiful things I've seen in Kerbal. Um, yeah, well, I, I really like that. Uh, and, and not just that, we get to watch this fall down. Uh, oh wait, what happens if I try and land it on the girder? Yeah, that's a good idea, right? Let's, uh, oh. Oh, we have survived. Um, so with that in mind, can we possibly use um, struts as a braking system? I mean, on my last one, what I was actually trying to do was hoping that the, the, the girder would be strong enough to brace for impact and um, slam up through the, the um, cockpit so we, we could uh, get some death, doom and destruction on the go but obviously that didn't work so yeah, I, I'm now going up for as, you know, a, a fairly fairly hefty orbit well, a fairly hefty height and a fe hefty drop to see what happens um, well, just to see what happens really that, that's what this particular episode is all about what happens if um, right, so we can see that I'm going up quite a ways there, and I, I, I'm feeling this is a more fast-paced episode than this, so uh, we're going to say 50 kilometres. Reaching the ungodly speeds of like five, 600 metres per second, which uh, is uh, pre pretty nippy. Um, when I first launched it, I was like, whoa, this is, this is a bit much, maybe we can uh, actually get this up to orbit with like, you know, tiny little, tiny little capsule and massive, like, uh, massive, um, uh, what are they called solid boosters but anyway so my speed was up in hundred uh, like what, five six hundred meters per second as I said and we come plummeting down now obviously I was hoping to hit the ground a little bit faster than this but air resistance being what it is I have to make do with the uh, the 150 meters per second and I'm like all right it's all over it's just gonna hit the floor and like destroy itself and, uh, and then, oh 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 it's all over so we, we try again uh, um, a, a slightly a slightly different configuration. I've got three struts on the bottom now. Just maybe, just maybe, we can get it so that like it breaks each individually and then like crumple zones. Or we could just kill everyone. Um, so over here, I, I've given up on that. I was like, that's that's never that's never gonna work. Uh, so I turn my rocket on its side, of course, as you do, and start pushing um, pushing it around like this. Uh, now I was hoping it would be a bit more stable than this. I'd actually got it quite well balanced. Uh, I'm not. I have no idea why it turned on its side. Uh, I have a quick check through my fuel fuel levels, and then I'm like, all right, fair enough. Let's just spin it up. And I was when I saw this, I was like, hey, let's get it on its end. But that that never really happened either. Um, but this this is definitely one of the most impressive ones. So uh, I'm, I'm really liking the the, the the rotational axis on this. I'm, I'm definitely going to do more with this type of thing i'm not sure what but i just I, w I want this more i i like it it looks good we should do it more often of course the next thing to do is uh, stick it on some legs and make it a little ferris wheel type thing um the the the, the movement of the camera really started to get to me after a little while so i, I decided that maybe just maybe the internal view would be a, a little bit better um, and that is a hell of a view, I, I like that, I mean there's a nice rocket right in front of it and then sky floor, sky floor, sky floor, sky floor, that's quite a, a twist round uh, I'm going to have a, a quick look about, see if any of my instrument panels 
uh, give me any readings out at all but of course we are just spinning on our axis so there's going to be no readings anywhere um, yeah there's nothing really more to be said about that is there a G meter anywhere in here I didn't see one should we possibly pop outside to have a look uh, oh, I'm barely registering any G's at all um, maybe we should make something a little bit more extreme but first I think I have another idea of what could be done with uh, this particular layout oh that's a weird weird angle so with next to no changes at all we've got it on its side a um, couple of extra wheels on the back obviously these are the um, the infernal robotics uh, docking washers or whatever they're called they're, they're, they're free spinning so you can spin stuff around and get it all aligned nicely that was not really the route I should have taken though so uh, a quick spin round and we, we start plowing off down down the road uh, and like some sort of behemoth of, of travel I'm still not traveling straight um, I, I cannot control this uh, I, I tried um, applying some torque from the cabin but of course the cabin is constantly rotating so it doesn't doesn't actually go where I want it to go and we end up trying to uh, pull ourselves up and over this concrete slab here which obviously doesn't work uh, the uh, obvious um, obvious evolution of that was a small sit on trike type thing here uh, the problem is that where I've shrunk it down so much I've had no room for um, for nozzles for engines on the actual wheel so I've basically just made um, what is essentially a jet car uh, and we all know from my previous um, previous plays with jet cars that they don't go well they, they don't go well at all in fact this is generally all that ever happens you get up to about 150 meters per second you hit something you spin out you kill all your kerbals and you end up with just a strut left it's a shame really uh, so from there we go to here, which I think is uh, an amazing thing. You might not be able to quite tell what's going on. So first, there's Jeb killing himself. Didn't kill himself, but there we go. Uh, I have yeah a wide out base and then uh, uh, some some uh, rockets up top, and we just push it. Go. Oh, amazing, right? <laughs> no, quite funny to 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 watch. Um, so I think that maybe like some sort of stabilization systems probably in order here so we go and throw some massive rockets on the bottom uh, similar setup Jeb's holding on up top um, and there he goes oh he got thrown splat and he's fine this is this is the thing like Jeb can survive almost everything uh, so we're gonna see if we can break the thing um, and it really doesn't look like they can. This is top rockets on full, bottom rockets uh, pushing it into the ground, obviously. Uh, stability was quite a major issue here. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. Well, let's set up a bit of a resonance going. Let's let's get this swing. And, oh, nearly at the ground. Can we hit the ground? Can we, get, can we do it? Will we go back and thrust again? And no, we can't really, unfortunately. Things start breaking. Um, and I'm, in fact, very nearly out of fuel on the top rocket. And there that fuel goes. So we're just going to sit here and watch it wiggle about for a while because, hey, that's fun, right? Um, <laughs> and, and yeah, it just oscillates about. Uh, let's go see what Jeb's up to. Hey, Jeb. Uh, he's up to running towards it. Yeah. And yeah, well, this this is just a, a run over there. I, I just basically want to see how how long it stays shaking for. Though the interesting thing is that I've managed to leave the rockets firing and switch to jet, which I uh, I shouldn't have been able to do that, should I? I'm fairly sure I shouldn't have been able to do that. But there we go, broken the game. That's that's what it's all about. And we'll we'll let Jeb walk around on the wobbly platform. Yay! Uh, so um, next design is something uh, uh, a bit more I was going to say frivolous but they, they've all been absolutely ridiculous designs and pointless pointless ideas um, so over here we have Bill going to uh, strap himself into this device 
And if we get out and have a walk with Jeb, we should be able to get a good look of what, what I've got going down here. So this whole, ep I'm going to call it an episode, this whole episode is more of a, a, an exploration into what, what can be done with the docking washer. Um, obviously it can be done, it can be used to rotate your ships and make everything all nicely aligned in space. But you know, that's, that's what the manufacturer intended it for and that's not how I use stuff. Uh, so this one reminiscent of a fairground ride, you'll see uh, Bob and Bill on the sides there. And, oh, it's not, it's not quite as impressive as it could be, could it, is it? Uh, I mean, it, it winds up to speed and it's quite good, but there's, there's we, we, we can do better, we can do better. And indeed better has been achieved, or at least we put stronger and many more rockets on it. Um, and there we go! Whee! Didn't quite last as long, but it looked good, right? <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining me for this uh, little frivolous adventure here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be more to come. If you really did like it, please let me know with a like down below, or in fact a comment. I much prefer comments. But yeah, bye!